My name is Renee Hoganson, Democratic candidate for U.S. House of Representatives. Recently, the House passed a tax reform that isn't good for most rural Missourians. The sitting representative, Vicki Hartzler, voted to support this bill in spite of the many ways it hurts working American families. Ms. Hartzler effuses that the tax reform will help people keep their money. From every angle of studying the bill, the relief for middle-class families is marginal and fleeting. While millions of American families will pay more taxes immediately with this tax reform, the average middle-class tax cuts are a paltry 1% of their earnings. Within about three years, many families will start to see increases in their taxes, beginning with the lower income households until all middle class families are ultimately paying more taxes within 10 years, according to the U.S. Congress Joint Committee on Taxation. While there is a short term token tax cut to the middle class, on average about $80 per month, the wealthiest Americans would receive an average tax cut of $18,000 per month. This substantial tax cut to the wealthiest 1 to 5 percent, which includes Mrs. Hartzler, would cause a national economic crisis within 10 years. In the short term, it will hurt many federal programs, including Medicare. In addition, the negative effects of this tax reform will have far-reaching impact on the Missouri state budget and subsequent programs, including our public schools. The massive tax cuts to the big corporations, however, will be permanent. It's estimated by the Tax Policy Center that this tax plan, reducing corporate tax from 39% to 20%, will create an additional $1.4 trillion in debt and will stifle economic growth in about seven years, because almost all federal money will need to be used to go toward debt service. Not only does this tax reform ultimately hurt the middle class in favor of the already ultra-wealthy, this tax form is fiscally irresponsible. According to the CBO report released Tuesday, the tax reform would cut $136 billion to the current fiscal year, including $25 billion in cuts to Medicare. The remaining $111 billion would come from student loans, agriculture subsidies, and social services block grant programs. Hartzler would like us to hang our hopes on the whims of corporations raising wages instead of giving dividends to shareholders. Currently, the stock market is robust and has made gains for the last eight years. That is an indication that corporations are making profits. Our GDP is bumping along, and yet wages are stagnant and declining. If money were going to trickle down, it would already be trickling. To really help working American families, let's infuse money directly into their wallets instead of hoping that corporations do it. We could cut payroll taxes, which would help small businesses and working Americans. We could increase wages and give a corresponding quarterly tax credit to small businesses to offset the cost. We could create a health care system that provides basic care for all individuals, which would save money for our government, businesses, and our families. There are many ways we can help working middle class America. Giving huge tax breaks to the wealthy 1% and hoping for the best sounds like Mrs. Hartzler is either not paying attention or hoping that we're not paying attention. Either way, it's the same old song and dance.